Welcome back to another video brought to you by ISCA Engineering. We are continuing the series of electrical simulations. In our previous video of this series, we went over the simulation of the electromechanical relay or control relay and a few other principles of the device. In today's video, we will go over the explanation of a simplified simulated industrial garage door. Before we get started with the video, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, then please subscribe, comment, and like the video. Also, hit the notification button to stay up to date with new videos uploaded. Now let's begin with the video. Industrial garage doors come in a wide variety of shapes and sizes and are built from different materials depending on their use. A few of the types of garage doors are roll-up doors, overhead doors, and scissor gates. Though garage doors differ by the way they are built and the different mechanisms used, the working principle is still the same. Many doors may have components such as photoelectric sensors to detect the presence of an object in the way of the closing door. These could be in order to detect forklifts or personnel walking through the door. The example we have provided is of a simplified industrial garage door. The garage door is provided with limit switches in order to prevent the motor from running continuously and thus damaging the door. These limit switches have been wired as normally closed, meaning that whenever the limit switch is not actuated, then it provides power to the motor when their respective button is pressed. So let's take a look at the circuit. Whenever the door is closed and limit switch 2 is actuated, then pressing the close button will have no effect on the door. To raise the door, you would press the open button to energize motor starter 1 and therefore turn the motor on. Whenever the door has reached its limit and actuated limit switch 1, then the limit switch's contacts will switch states and stop the flow of current to the motor. The same concept is used to bring the door down. Pressing the down button will energize the second motor starter and reverse the rotation of the motor in order to bring the door down. After the door has reached its limit and actuated limit switch 2, then the limit switch will open and stop current from flowing to the motor. The stop button can be pressed at any time whenever the door is going either up or down to stop the current from flowing to the motor. If both the up and down buttons were to be pressed at the same time, then the door would not move at all. This concludes the explanation for the simplified industrial garage door. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. In the next video, we will be going over the simulation of an air compressor. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at ISCA underscore engineering underscore. The links will be provided in the description. There we post daily content on electricity, controls, automation, and much more. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.